Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and we have something special for you today. We have scoured the internet for the best DIY gym equipment builds. This includes our fantastic home gym community that is now like over 130,000 strong on Facebook. If you'd like to join, we'd love to have you. Maybe <laughs> there's an application process. But you can check the link below the like button. In addition to that, we went through Instagram, TikTok. We had people send them to us. We scoured Reddit, you name it. There are a lot here and there are supposedly some sick ones. I haven't seen any of them. Our team has compiled them. And so we will find out together how good they are. But let's watch together. Cue that beautiful B-roll footage. Okay, first up, I don't, again, I have not seen these. I, I told the team, like, I do not want to see these ahead of time, so we're all watching them together, so. Okay, first one. Here is a home gym setup. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like a hack squat, like a DIY hack squat. This is on a really, like, low price rack. I love people that, like, they'll take the low price rack, upgrade it, like, you can't get jam arms for that style of rack, and he basically made them. I wonder how he like gets out though. Probably just collapses and jumps out. <laughs> okay, see, yeah, they're DIY jam arms that move around. Those I'm guessing are like, what do you think, Sam? Are those like four by four wood posts? Yeah. Yeah. Those are definitely four by four. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Is this a, are those pool noodles? Yeah. Are those pool noodles? Yeah. This is sick. Look at him, dude. This dude just getting it, just straight getting it with his pool noodle boxing bag. When people complain about not having enough, enough money to like train or something, remember this dude, just getting it done. He's swaying, see, that make, look, there's a 45 pound plate on the bottom. Dude, just get, why would this be the last photo in the carousel? This, th we need to help this guy out, get him more likes. This is the content he needs to be producing. This is sick. Do you think it's just saran wrap? That is, that's nice. I love the energy, I love the energy. That's just, that's cool, that's cool. Good job, Quentin, that's sick. Okay, okay, home gym community. By the way, the greatest place on the internet. Oh man, those lights are sick. This looks like a gym Sam would make. So many lights, you're having a seizure. Whoa, okay. Yeah, those lights are. Do people, do people lift with lights like that? Like, can you let me know, know in the comments? Like, if you have all that crap going on, can you even focus? I can't. I do. Do you? Yeah, we really? Have, we have lights in our gym. Okay. Line the walls. Are they like rainbow colored and oh, stuff? Yeah. And it, it goes to the music. Does it? Yeah. So it's like club feeling? Oh yeah. Oh, see, I can't do it. I gotta have, I, I gotta have Dave Matthews band playing. I gotta have just white lights. That's it. Okay. Yeah, this is a sick gym basement gym. That's the only unfortunate part about this is that it's in the basement. Are you team basement or are you team garage gym? Let me know. Team above ground. Team below ground or team above ground? Heaven, hell. You pick, right? You got a functional trainer down there though. That's nice. That would, that work. That, that's what I'm thinking. You know that. That would yeah. suck to take down there. Multiple racks. That's just like a bench rack. This is a sweet platform with the lights around it. Yeah, these lights, man. I couldn't do, I could I mean, not work out like this. It looks like a party. It does. And this one looks like somebody left their gym in a demo. <laughs> yeah. I think they did. Maybe they worked at Best Buy or something. Tommy Nunez, sick gym. I'd love to visit someday. If we ever go on a gym tour again, I want to come by. All right, this is on TikTok. Another stupidly cheap. I just want to say, as much as I love all the DIY stuff, the cheap ones I love the most because when I was starting my gym in college, I had no money. The first piece of equipment I ever had was a tire sled that was like DIY. So like, I understand that's a entry, like it's a gateway drug for most people in the home gym. So I love these kind of stuff. All right, band platform, two bolts, couple washers, few spacers, band peg, okay. Smart, yeah, yeah, yeah. Band, I mean, band pegs are already really cheap, but if your rack doesn't come with them or they don't make them for them, I mean, that's way cheaper way to do it, so that's cool. I've seen this guy, this uh, shredded, shredded dad. He makes a lot of videos. So he's using spotter arms, a foam plate. I don't know about that. I don't know, uh, that looks uncomfortable to me. Yeah, that looks uncomfortable. I, that, that's not a bad idea with the plate using it in that way. Um, it kind of makes a pendulum, 
definitely not quite as much of a, a uh, wouldn't feel as good as a normal reverse hyper, but if you got, if you want to do those, I do notice he's got like a, he's got that whole $5 million jack jock set up in the background. I'm sure you could afford a reverse hyper, but cool DIY nonetheless. Okay. DIY $2 multifunction cross over. Okay, so he's just using a pulley. We've made this before too. It's like a $25 DIY pulley. Like you just take a pulley. It looks like instead of like weight plates, he's got a shrimp bucket, <laughs> bucket. <laughs> like just <laughs> gumbo bucket. Okay, showing how he's building the core, attaching it. A cement bucket, 10 kilogram cement bucket. That's cool. Upright rows. The nice thing about that is he could attach it to something else too for like a different angle. It kind of looks like a DIY kettlebell too. Do you see that in the background? Whoa, this is cool. Okay, so that is a, that's a bicycle rim attached to fork. That, those are, that's like a kid's bike fork and a kid's bike bicycle rim attached to, is that a, that is a bed frame, my friends. So he literally took the, he's chopping it off. There's the bed frame. I mean, you gotta do whatever you can to get the gains. So the bed frame is, seems like such a unique use. Like, couldn't you attach to the top of the wall or something? Throws his weight on there. Those are, I bet those aren't that heavy. You know, after, like they look so heavy, but concrete has so much like air in it. Remember when we made the concrete dumbbells? I'm sure they're heavy. They look like they're like 500 pounds. He's got others in the background, like different designs. He's got a mace club in the background. All right, just a piece of metal. I, I have no idea what he's going to do with it. Making a weight plate stand, maybe? Oh, there you go. Oh, I, why did I not see that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's basically what many companies sell yeah. and CrossFit gyms use. Now, I will say, I don't know how much weight you the casters before the casters break. Like, I personally have a computer chair at home that the cast, there's like three casters that have broken off of it. Yeah. With that 140 pounds of twisted steel sex with all sitting in. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, another one. A bed. That's an that's an electric winch. Sam, you're gonna like this. Electric hoisted, 250 kilograms, and it's a bouldering wall. That is sick. See, that's how you make a functional yeah, bedroom. Your safety is that the carabiners are for? Yeah, dude, that is so sweet. Oh, that is amazing. I would like that. I like to boulder. That would be, yeah, that thing is, that's very nice. I've seen the gyms that like the um, Murphy beds that fold up. There's a company, I think Pivot Bed, and it's a gym and a bed. The electric hoist makes it so much more like, I don't know, usable, I feel like, you know, like, cause it's just easier to touch and go. That thing's sick, yeah. Not typical uh, home gym content that we see, but I love, I love rock climbing stuff, that's cool. All right, this Cardillo, I've seen this guy. This guy has an outdoor gym. He uses it year round. It's on a dock, on a lake. This dude is massive. He owns Cardillo weight belts. Um, I don't know if he does this stuff for fun or just like for Instagram, but it's sweet content. And a lot of his stuff will be like in a bucket and it's filled with water and throughout the set, it's reducing in weight because water's coming out of it. Like I'll poke a hole in the bottom. So like it's reducing weight as he's lifting. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, I would love to visit this gym someday. This thing is, I don't know what, I don't know what this is. I like hockey. <laughs> that was, where, where did that come from? Oh, sweet. Yeah, monolith dumbbell arms made of wood. Those are cool. They rack onto the barbell. Those are sweet. Very, you know, talk about unnecessary, very unnecessary. Oh, you can't place them back in. Those look like they're like CNC plywood pieces, you think? Yeah. All right, this just looks literally like a home. Some foam tiles. Okay. Let's see where this is going. Okay, another gymnastics mat. These are very colorful. Oh, is this a kid's gym? My kids would love this, seriously. Yeah, that's sweet. That's cute. That's cute. Isn't that cute? It's just cute content. <laughs> Look at them. They're so happy. How I set up my bar stool squat rack. He has a pipe 
with Bowflex 552 Select Text. Nice. Loop the tie downs on the dumbbells. This is the kind of stuff we saw during the pandemic where it's just like nobody had equipment. They couldn't buy it, so they were just doing whatever they could. Sometimes you just gotta get it done. Oh yeah, I've seen this guy many times. Yeah. I think his name, uh, his name on Instagram is like Farmer LeBron James or something, but his entire pec deck, look at the pec, a leg press, bench press. There's a full gym behind him, all outside. <laughs> it's like, man. I wanna go to this guy's farm. I know, and he's doing this in cowboy boots. I like the, how he's using cinder blocks for weight on the pec deck. <laughs> Like he's got these like concrete weights, but he just decides to throw the cinder blocks on there. Let's see what he's building. Human hamster wheel. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. What is it riding on? Is there some sort of bushing there or something? I mean, if you just put a pipe on each side that's free spinning, I mean, that would. Okay, go. you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DIY weighted ball. I will say, before I watch this, one of my first DIYs, I ever made, so I made that sled and then I made a 100 pound med ball and I took a four square ball and probably did it very similar to this. I filled it with sand and it was like a 18 inch four square ball, I think, so just like massive. Filled it with sand and then took a tire uh, patch and that's how I patched it. I'm curious how he's gonna patch it because what ended up happening is the tire patch ended up popping, but it took like years. Oh, so he's using glue, okay, sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sweet, yeah, yep. This is what I originally built, a weighted sled. Or is he just using them to lift, lift with? This guy looks like a Muay Thai guy. Yeah, he is, I can see in the hashtags. These guys are animals, dude. I'm slinging a tire. This dude's using a tire for fitness and probably is fitter than like 90% of the people watching. No offense, fitter than me too. Goes to show, you can have low tech equipment, but high tech fitness. All right, there's a bunch of DIY gym equipment. There's a ton that are out there. I know when I started my garage gym, I started with DIY gym equipment. I know a lot of people start that way. I think it's a great way to show that if you want to get things done, if you want to be more fit, you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. Yeah, it's nice to have a full nice setup, but you can get it done just building things yourself. So I'd love to show these off. Thank you guys for sending these in, for building them. If you'd like to see us do another Reacts video, let us know in the comments what type of video you'd like to see, or just another one of these, because there is a whole lot more on this list, and I know there's a lot more that's been built, but which one on this was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and we will see you next time. Peace.